Sad tweet this week is not a tweet, but an Instagram comment from Braun Strowman, whose account is under his real name, Adam Schur. He actually did have a sad tweet where he referred to Lance Archer as a great value brand version of himself. But he was tagged by somebody else who said, oh, Archer is what Braun should have been, and so he was only reacting. I can't hold that against him. You know, I just looked at that as some harmless trash talk. This was different. And I like Braun. You know, outside the ring, he seems like a good dude. But my God, this was just a tone-deaf, shitty thing for him to say. He left a comment under an Instagram post by Evil Uno of the Dark Order in AW. But it wasn't actually Evil Uno's post. It was a screenshot of Evil Uno's post uh, from an Instagram account dedicated to burying Smarks, which Braun evidently follows. I didn't see this until this week, even though the post looks to be from March 12. But in his tweet, Evil Uno said that in the wake of all of these cancellations, support the independents, be it wrestling, music, etc. Buy their merch, support them through Patreon, share their stuff. The gig economy is going to take a huge hit, and many don't have the safety net necessary to survive this. To which Braun Strowman had this to say about his fellow performers said, here we go with more of the somebody pay my bills stuff. If you can't afford to pay your bills, maybe you should change professions. That's why I quit Strongman. I loved it, but I couldn't afford to live, so instead of making a GoFundMe or a Patreon wanting somebody else to take care of me, I went out and I worked harder than I ever have in my life to get to where I am. What happened to being accountable for your own actions? And that wasn't enough. He posted a follow-up. He said, and for anybody that goes, oh, that's easy for you to say you're a WWE superstar. Seven years ago, I moved to Florida with everything I owned in a Kia Soul with 150 bucks in my pocket or to my name when I started this. That is an absurdly shitty thing to say to another wrestler. When you have states going on lockdowns, telling people not to leave their homes. People who I know for a fact, in the case of many independent wrestlers, not all of them, but, you know, a lot of them, who already have another job. How do you know that they don't have another job? A lot of them do. And with everything going on in the world right now, it's very possible that they may not have that job anymore. And now, they can't wrestle either because everything's on lockdown, everything's in suspended animation. So, it could be dark days ahead. Evil Uno? is asking people to support those folks if they can. That warrants a rant from Braun Strowman, who did strongman competitions. And he didn't make any money doing strongman competitions, so he packed up his Kia, and he drove to Orlando to get paid to wrestle by WWE. It's a good thing this didn't happen when Braun had 150 bucks in his pocket down in Orlando living out of his car. He might be singing a very different tune if that had happened. The reason a lot of these indie talents are going to be hurting is because we're in the middle of a crisis that you only see once in a lifetime. None of us have ever experienced anything like this before. Not on this scale. It's a, it's a crisis that's very likely going to put tens of millions of people on the unemployment line. Not just pro wrestlers. A lot of those people, by the way, have full-time jobs. Good paying jobs. Where they work in restaurants, they work in bars. And because of the situation they now find themselves in, they may not be getting a paycheck anymore. But they were paying their bills just fine before. And now they may not be able to pay them at all. I wonder if Braun Strowman would tell those people the same thing. Oh, you should have changed professions, because now is a great time to go running out and working hard and just look for another job. Let's change professions now. You should have been smarter, like Braun. If Braun Strowman had dynamite for brains, he wouldn't be able to blow his nose. There's a lot of independent wrestlers who work hard. They were doing well. There's a booming indie scene who may have also had a day job, maybe, you know, even as a side hustle, and they wrestle at night or on weekends, whatever the case may be. Evil Uno, he came from that independent scene. He's probably friends, I'm willing to bet, with a lot of those guys. He's just trying to look out for some of them. 
Braun Strowman has no concept of that because he didn't come up through that scene. He drove his car to Florida with 150 bucks in his pocket after he had already signed with WWE. I know it's more dramatic to say that, oh, I moved to another state. I had very little money in my pocket as if he was driving down there on a wing and a prayer, hoping that they would just open the door when he knocked. He already had a well-paying contract by that point. Mark Henry, he took notice of him from the strongman stuff. WWE came calling. They were offering him more money than strongman, and, and that's why he took it. So he packed up his car, and he got paid to go to wrestling school. The fucking gall of this guy. You know how many wrestlers get paid to go to wrestling school? Not very many. They're usually the ones paying. And they do so willingly because this is something that they've always wanted to do. So they'll pay whatever it is, $1,000, $2,000, $3,000. Undertaker, when he sat down with Stone Cold, talked about uh, you know when he was trying to break into the business. Paying $3,000 and then getting screwed out of most of his training. You know, you can find a lot of wrestlers who have stories like that. Braun Strowman got paid to drive down to Florida to go work for WWE. He got paid to drive down and train to become a professional wrestler. He's going to lecture other wrestlers about working hard to achieve their goals. This is not even a matter of all that, well, there's that elitist WWE attitude of the WWE star who, of course, they get paid really well. Look, I didn't see any other WWE stars agreeing with him or liking that post. Or if they did, if they if they do agree with him, they have enough sense to keep their mouth shut. I'd say the majority of those on the WWE roster or the NXT roster, they came from the independents. They know what that's like. They know about that whole struggle. The last thing any of them would do is take a post like that and twist it into something negative. How do you get something negative out of that post? I, I don't know. Out of Evil Uno's post. I don't understand. I would bet anything that a lot of them saw what Braun posted and thought the exact same thing that I did and that a lot of you did, which is, what a dick. What a dick. He's trying to make his point by making his own story sound more dramatic than it really is. Now he's got himself a nice, big, fat four-year contract. He just re-signed last year, I think, with the company. I'm sure he's worked very hard for it. And he's improved a lot since he started doing this. He doesn't have a lot of years under his belt. All things considered, for a big guy like this, Braun Strowman, he's taken to this whole wrestling thing pretty well. I don't doubt that he works hard. He got a nice contract out of it, a nice renewal. Good for him. But have a little fucking empathy for some of your fellow wrestlers instead of belittling them.